And now, the moment that all of my subscribers have been waiting for. That's right. I have created a placemat. No, I'm kidding. I haven't created a placemat. I, uh, I'm going to start out with this placemat because it's going to be the cushion for the invention that I'm about to show you. This is my invention. This is a record player that plays a record without a turntable. Well, sort of. It does have a turntable, but the way it plays the record is going to be a little bit different. This uh, concept design came from something that I built when I was a kid, and I decided I needed to do it again because now there's YouTube and I can actually show it off. But uh, in this case, this has parts in it that came from a Viewmaster, a talking Viewmaster that was made in the 1980s. And it has a motor and a that little turntable that you see there, which in this case is almost like a stand. Inside, it has four AAA batteries. It has a on-off switch. It has a start switch, which is the red switch there. The on-off switch is right here by my thumb. And uh, those are your basic components. Uh, this uh, part here, this um, black part, is a coat hanger. And hanging underneath the coat hanger is a cartridge, a ceramic cartridge with a stylus on it. And there is a spring attached to the arm. And that spring helps to push the needle down onto a record as it spins. So this entire thing, it, we will set this on a record and play a record without the record actually spinning. This is going to spin on top of the record. So, uh, I hope you enjoy this invention. I spent a lot of time trying to make this work. It's taken a lot of engineering uh, on my part to make it work. Um, there is one difficulty with it, and even though I need a spring right here, the spring that you see here by my finger is needed to push the needle onto the record, but it has a tendency to get stuck on this bar. So it'll play for a little bit, and then as you can see, once it starts going across, the little spring almost grabs onto that bar that it's hanging onto there. So it's unfortunate, but I really don't want to spend any more time on it. There's a little bit better focus where you can see. I don't want to spend any more time on it. It's it the concept is here. It's a you know prototype concept of uh, of what can be done when you put your mind to it. And you know what? I hope this project will inspire you guys out there who are into electronics to be innovative, to be creative, and to make stuff out of stuff. Because we need more engineers and we need more uh, creative thinkers out there. So I hope I inspire you. The wire that is here running off of this uh, into, the, uh, into the amplifier is like a cloth-based wire that... Um, well, it's cloth, I guess, that's covering our string, covering the actual wires underneath. So it's very old, but uh, it's kind of nice in the sense that it's soft. So if it ever rubs on the record, it's not going to scratch the record up. But would this be used to play your most valued vinyl? No, I would not do that either. So with that in mind, I, am, I have chosen a record that hopefully YouTube doesn't care about and doesn't scream at me for copyright problems. It is this record here. It is called Holiday Magic Facial Exercises and Massage Routines for Skin Beauty. All right. That's the record we're going to use. And it's kind of cool because the record happens to be blue. So there's our record. I'm going to place the instrument. I have to uh, put the spindle here down into the record. So it sits on top. All right. Now it will start skipping. It'll play for a little bit and then it'll start skipping and then I'll try and kind of doctor it to go uh, a little bit further uh, on the record just for fun. Um, yeah, we'll start it about right here, kind of into the record a little bit. And based on the functions on the, uh, the Viewmaster, you, uh, when you inserted the record into the Viewmaster, it tripped a switch, which actually starts the process, starts the motor. Um, 
but uh, strangely enough, it actually has some kind of an alarm. So the alarm was there, I think, to tell you that your disc wasn't inserted properly. But uh, in this case, we're going to get an alarm before we actually start the record. So I just wanted you to be aware of that. So again, here's my on-off switch. There's my alarm. Oh yeah, there is a speaker right inside here. And here we go. So there's our skip coming in now. So I can just so I can kind of move that little spring along there. Okay, so we'll go ahead and stop it there. So uh, if this box uh, hasn't been uh, recognized by you yet, this is an old DSL modem, and I just took all the guts of it out because it was a it was a perfect size for everything that I needed to put inside of it. So um, again, uh, deep inside of there is a uh, a speaker. I don't know if you can see it here. I'll see if I can zoom in a little bit and take a look. Uh, it's a little tiny speaker that I uh, mounted to the top of the of the casing in there. And uh, of course there again is my on off switch, which I got at Radio Shack. And then this uh, momentary switch here I also got from Radio Shack as they are going out of business. And of course I needed some way to corral the wire that, uh, that comes out of the top. So I used this clip, which I believe is for Christmas tree lights, mounting Christmas tree lights to uh, to something frame of your house or not the frame of your house, but I guess you're guttering or something and uh, I'll tell you the magic in this project is some uh, Some two-in-one it well, not two-in-one well, maybe some two-in-one oil, but I didn't use that Th this is uh, two-sided tape and it's two-sided foamy tape and, it, and it's made by uh, 3m so uh, Really good stuff. Highly recommend it for projects like this where you just need to put stuff together. And you can see I'm, I've used some of that uh, two-sided foam tape to get the, the piece of the hanger uh, mounted to the, the cabinet as well. So um, I hope this is uh, interesting to you guys. I hope you uh, liked what I have put together. And uh, I'll play it for you one more time here. We'll see if she'll cooperate.
also helps under eye puffiness. Now for the last one, and it likewise has a twofold benefit. It not only helps to correct laugh line crevices, to correct laugh line crevices, to correct laugh line crevices. So there you go, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel as I uh, endeavor to show you more and more interesting alternative electronics and electronics from the past. Um, please share this with a friend and uh, like the video and leave a comment if you'd like as well. Thank you for watching and have a great day.